Thank you, Chris. Kauai is now the first county in Hawaii to create a resort bubble program. This would allow quarantine visitors to leave their hotel rooms and roam the property, but while wearing a tracking device. And joining us now live to talk more about that is Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami. Good morning to you, Mayor. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you, and good morning, everybody. Now, we've heard that Timbers Kauai is one of the properties working to participate in this program. Which of the properties, or at least how many properties, are currently looking to do this, and what are their requirements? Uh, so, there's about four or five properties that are interested. Um, you know, it's really fluid. Some, some properties have shown some interest but decided they're going to wait until the governor announces when he's going to open up uh, travel again. Uh, you know, uh, to simplify things, what's required is uh, resorts need to take a look at some of our guidelines, and they need to be able to apply those guidelines to their standard operating procedures to ensure employee safety, uh, guest safety, as well as uh, security protocols to ensure that guests uh, do stay on property. And you talked about guests. Guests will also need to follow rules. For example, they need to wear a bracelet, and they also must show a negative COVID test before arriving and also get temperature checks. What will the enforcement be like? Well, you know, our Koi Police Department, in partnership with the Koi Visitors Bureau and the National Guard, um, has done a fantastic job from the very beginning to enforce on all of the governor's proclamations, all of the mayor's rules. And uh, this would add another layer of security because it adds on the resort security personnel um, as an additional layer of protection. Now, Mayor, I know that you haven't announced an official date, start date for this program, but can you give us any kind of time frame or timeline as to when we could see this program begin? You know, that really depends on how quickly resorts can adjust and pivot towards uh, our guidelines and what we set up as parameters. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is going to be a good model to uh, either scale back travel or, in this case, uh, scale up in a staged way. Um, if the governor announces that he's going to open up uh, travel come sometime in October, if there's any type of surge or outbreak, uh, we want to avoid a shutdown. And this would be a way to scale back um, without going all the way back to the 14-day quarantine. So, you know, we want to get people back to work. Um, resources are running out, and um, there is, there's a number of people that, that just need to get back to work. Now, this is the model because it is the first county in the state to do this. Any advice or guidance to other counties looking to implement this type of program? You have to have a plan, and you have to build contingency plans around that plan. And I would say the foundation of making this successful and keeping the island safe and healthy is having a strong uh, enforcement arm so that people really take the rules and governor's orders uh, seriously. Um, that's been our key to success, is creating those partnerships and having a good, strong enforcement uh, presence out there. All right. Thank you so much, Derek Kawakami, Kauai County Mayor, for joining us live by phone this morning. You take care, Mayor. You too. Thank you.